Switching to your weather, if you liked today and mm. yesterday's weather, you might like tomorrow's even more. So good. Hasn't this been fantastic? It's been perfect. I'm not really sure if I'm interested in getting any warmer <laughs> than enough. it was this weekend, Fair but enough. I'm sure there are some folks who are thrilled by that. Yeah, sure. Just a hair. We're not going to like really crank up the heat or anything, but we'll get a few uh, extra degrees out of uh, tomorrow and Tuesday as well. Let's take a look outside. This is our Shriners Hospital camera. Uh, current temperatures in the mid 50s, clear skies over the Rose City right now, uh, taking a peek at those current temperatures across the region. Uh, notice uh, areas north and south of us a little bit cooler. Salem into the low 50s, mid 40s right now in Eugene and low 40s to about 50 degrees uh, along the coast. Meanwhile, central Oregon will be around and below freezing overnight. Uh, tonight, you can see temperatures down into the 30s out there already. All right, so the big picture is we've got two more warm, sunny days. That gets us through Tuesday, and then we switch back to that cool, showery pattern. Uh, tomorrow will be very similar to today. Bright, sunny, uh, crisp start to the day. But then in the afternoon, we'll warm up just a little bit more. I think we'll touch 70 degrees around some uh, metro area locations. And then the big change happens late Tuesday, early Wednesday. That's when a cold front is going to slide in, which is going to bring us uh, much cooler temperatures. We'll drop about 20 degrees from Tuesday to Wednesday. And we'll also see the return of the wet weather. So let's take a look at that rainfall forecast. Everything looks really light from what I'm seeing on models uh, right now. Of course, we've got our two dry days, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, you can kind of see the beginnings of the precipitation here right ahead of that cold front for that Tuesday panel. So uh, by late Tuesday night, coast will already probably start to see those raindrops. We'll see it more in the Portland metro area kind of overnight into early Wednesday morning. But see how light everything looks? We're not seeing really any dark greens here Wednesday or Thursday. And then Friday, maybe we just get a sprinkle. It's possible some folks stay dry uh, if this uh, stays true or holds true. Okay, so let's time things out for you here. Tomorrow morning, I think some fog or low clouds along the coast. That should dissipate throughout the day, so everyone gets sunshine once again for your Monday. Tuesday, a little bit more of a marine surge here, so I think our coastal communities are going to stay kind of clouded in all day. We should still be sunny here in that I-5 corridor and for most folks east of the mountains as well you can start to see that precipitation over the ocean. So again, that's going to arrive along our coast later Tuesday night. This is paused at 9 p.m. here as that cold front slides over us. Uh, we'll get the rain here uh, in the interior valleys. And then we're just kind of left with weak sauce uh, stuff for Wednesday. This is your morning commute here, 8 a.m., just kind of post-frontal showers. So it's going to be gray. I think, you know, scattered light showers, but not looking too wet on Wednesday. Initially, we were thinking that might be a, a steady rain day. I don't think that's going to be the case anymore. So here's that seven day forecast. Two more days, even warmer in the 70s. Big switch back to cooler on Wednesday. So low 50s, I think, is going to be where our highs end up on Wednesday. And then just a few light showers. These are really weak systems coming through the rest of the week. Uh, maybe we beef things up just a little bit next weekend. Those look like they could be a bit wetter. So uh, what, pretty wet uh, second half of the day Saturday and frequent showers on Sunday. Amel? All right, Camilla, thank you.